The cathode building at Giga Texas is 15% done. Sort of. I'm Brian. Welcome to my Tesla weekend. We don't actually know how complete it is, in part because we don't know how big it's going to be, but also because they've really just begun. So why 15%? We'll get to that. A quick thank you to newest supporter on Patreon, Chris. Thank you so much for your decision to support the channel. Well, we've been seeing this area take shape for months, and I've been asked to track it by a lot of you guys in the comments, and even a bunch of you at the various events around Cyber Rodeo last month. I've had a few false starts before, tracking land in Shanghai, as well as in Texas on the other side of the highway, and even closer to the parking lot. So instead of waiting for the grading to be done, I've waited for the footing work to actually commence, and here we are. 15% though, you must be mad. Yeah, I get that a lot. Especially in the early days of the Giga Texas main factory tracker, I was assured by every manner of skeptic that my estimates were insanely optimistic. Even as the tracker got on toward completion, there were still plenty of naysayers. But depending on your definition of done, it was certainly in the range. So let's take a look at the site map as of today. We don't actually know the final footprint, so we're estimating. It's six squares across, based on what appear to be perimeter-grade beams marking the outer edges, and some number of squares long. For now, the estimate is 40. Each square is roughly 20 feet or 6 meters, which would give us a total footprint of about 192,000 feet or 18,000 square meters. This site map shows the footings underway in orange, but they won't actually be counted until the concrete is poured, which is likely to happen very quickly. We can expect to see steel going up about a month later, as the footprint is better established, and we are better able to determine the distance between them. You know, we'll get it all dialed in. Based on the steel staged at this location, this will be a mostly two and three floor building, giving a total area range of about 400 to 500,000 square feet, or 36 to 46,000 square meters. But 15%? Well, like last time, this isn't measured by dollars or man hours, but the total time needed for completion. On the previous tracker, I started with an equal weighting for each of the site completion elements, thinking I would get it dialed in over time, but I just never got better information until it was kind of too late to make the adjustments. Even that gave us a pretty good measurement, but it created a bulge in the curve toward the middle, so the weight of the footing and roofing elements have been reduced, with more weight assigned to the interior completion and I'll also be extending the timeline for the lagging indicator of interior work by four weeks. So not 16 weeks for completion, but 20 weeks. These two changes should normalize the curve quite a bit, and make the last few months especially more consistent and predictable. So yes, really, 15% done, but there's no mathematical end date yet, because if we went back to when they started grading this sloppy bit of swamp, you'd see that it's been many months already, which would extrapolate to a completion date years in the future, which we know isn't accurate. So let's hear all the love and hate. What did I miss or misunderstand? Let me know in them comments below. And a quick thanks to my Patreons who get early access, bonus content, and ad-free experience. All that good stuff help keep the channel running. And at the $10 level and above, access to my 11-year production prediction tracker. And if you want to see this every Monday without fail, subscribe, hit the bell, do that good stuff, and stay tuned, stay juicy, and I can't wait to hear from you clever robots on the flippity-flop.